Experiment 12 from the Physics with Vernier book examines static and kinetic friction. And static friction is the uh, friction between objects that aren't moving, and like right now the block. And then uh, kinetic friction is the friction when it's actually in motion. Now this experiment uh, uses a couple of different sensors. One is a force sensor like this one for parts one and two of the experiment. And then parts three of the experiment uh, uses this motion detector. Um, and so that's how this works. Now I've already um, connected my force sensor to my iPad here and so you'll see that I'm getting a reading here. Now if I pull on this you can see that value uh, goes up there. Now what I'd like to do is collect a little data to show you how this was done. So let me go here and do this as one graph. I'll hit collect and I'm going to slowly start to pull. Oops, let me collect. There we go. Slowly start to pull and then I'm pulling at a constant velocity there. Um, and so what I was trying to do is pull it really slow or apply a little force at first and then once it starts to go I just keep pulling with a constant velocity and I end up with a graph that looks like that. Now this is the data set here and um, in the data set it looks kind of squashed. Uh, let me show you how to expand that. Uh, this is a zoom to data. It's so this looks kind of like what I have here. And uh, the first part of the lab actually wants you to look at uh, finding uh, values um, for the static friction. And it's the static friction is the part that occurs right before it actually breaks loose. And uh, so you can get a value of that by just using the examine tool and being able to do that. And then you're also asked to find the average uh, force that was applied when it was in motion. And to do that piece, what you need to be able to do is highlight the region of the data when it was being pulled along with a constant velocity. And you can go down and do the statistics function. And from that, you could get the average uh, force that was applied during that period. Now, uh, during the experiment, um, what was happening was that the mass on here was changed and thus the normal force. And so the normal force uh, is essentially that what's having to push up from the table to hold it in place. And as we uh, adjust the masses and put different masses on there, we're changing that normal force. I started off with a massive thing to start with just to demonstrate with the water there, uh, but it was done with a variety of different masses there. Uh, and then to look at the, the different data sets there, I can go here and you can see the different trials uh, for, the, for the different masses there. So at this point, uh, I'd like to show you the third part of the experiment, uh, and so I have to open a separate file for that one. Part three of the Static and Kinetic Friction Lab um, examines the acceleration or deceleration of a block um, as it's being pushed like this and given a little push and it slows down because of the friction. Now for this part of the experiment, we're using a motion detector, and the way it works, it sends out an ultrasonic pulse that goes out, bounces off an object, and comes back. And I've actually added a little uh, piece of cardboard here to make the object a little bigger so that the sound will bounce off. Uh, like trials one and two, um, the mass was changed here uh, when this was done. Now, uh, I've already connected my motion detector to my iPad here and what I want to do is show you how uh, the data were collected like this and so if I hit hit collect here and give it a little push there we go and so I end up with a move that out of the way so I end up with data that kind of looks like that now for this part of the experiment they want you to find the average acceleration of the block uh, when it's slowing down and this part of the data set is really when you're giving it a push and you really don't want that part. You want the part that's after you've let go of the block. And so what, in order to get the acceleration, what I need to do is highlight that region of the graph when it's um, slowing down. And then if I come here and uh, do a curve fit and apply a linear fit, the slope of that line gives me the acceleration of the block. And that's what the third part of the lab wants you to do. So again, um, the, this experiment examines static and kinetic friction of a block uh, moving along the surface.